let's create a gauge chart in Power BI. First thing we need to do is go over here to gauge chart. So we're going to click on gauge. And to do this, we're going to actually do two gauge charts. So we're going to use this one and we're going to use another one. So let's just increase the size of our report view. I'm going to bring in another gauge chart. So you can bring in another gauge chart or let's hit delete. We can come here and just do copy and paste. So now we have a two gauge charts of the same size. And the first thing I want to do is I want to drag in some cells. So, so as you can see, if you drag in some cells and let's just do this as well. Um, let's move this down here. And I want to bring in a table just to show you guys something real quick. So in this gauge chart, we have this value right here, 36,000. If we bring in a table and then we add sales, we'll see that the sum of sale is 36,000, but we get this number right here, which is 72,000 or almost 73,000, which is basically double this number. So if you ever wondered what is this other number in our gauge chart, this is this gauge chart actually gives us the, the total number here in the middle and then gives us double that right at the end. So that is kind of explaining what the gauge chart is. So now that we got that out the way, let's just go ahead and bring this size back down and we're going to bring in an indicator. So we have to create a indicator for the gauge chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new measure. So we're going to come up here and we're going to call this measure target sales. And this target sales is going to equal the sum of sales. Close that. I'm going to say times, let's just say 1.1. And that is going to be our target sales measure. So to bring this over to our target value. So now that we see our target value, we have an indicator of 40,000. So by doing this measure, it actually increases our target sales by 1.1. So we want to kind of increase. We want to get to this number. Now, if we wanted to bring this number down and say, oh, let's just say we met our target sales. What we can do is we can come here and just call this 0.75. So when we do that, what we see is we've kind of met our goal and we've hit our target. So in our gauge chart, that is one of the KPIs that you could probably use to kind of identify if you've met your target sales or you didn't create meet your target sales. Let's just do another one. So we're going to come here to gauge chart and let's just make this larger. So now we want to add profit and then we want to do another target profit. So let's come up here to new measure and we're going to call this one target profit. And let's just say this is going to equal the sum and we're looking for profit. Let's close that. And let's just say this is going to be one point. Let's just say two. So now we have the sum of profit target uh, target value. So we're going to add this to our target value. And you see the same thing here. So did we hit our profit margin? No, but if we want to show something where we actually hit our profit margin, let's just say uh, we want to go 0. 0.62 to hit our profit margin. Now that we hit enter, we'll see that, okay, now we've hit our profit margin. So that is a way to kind of show you what that, um, target value indicator is when you're using the gauge chart. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this. All right. Another thing I want to do with this gauge chart is I want to go ahead and put a pie chart in here and I want to show you some things. All right. So now we have the pie chart. Let's just go ahead and add in our sales and our regions. And now that we have our sales and our region added and it's in here, 
with our gaze chart. Now, when we click through the different regions, we'll see that our numbers change if we hit our targets and so on and so forth. So you'll see that each region outperformed its target indicator. So this is, like I said, a good way to use your KPI visuals. And now you should know how to create a gauge chart in Power BI.